so hey guys welcome back it's me Rajan Sharma and you know guys in this tutorial I'll be showing you that how can we implement functionality of forwarding images in groups and also in personal chat okay guys so in this application chat it okay encrypted chat app with Firebase previously we were doing the forward functionality with text messages only okay because we were only sharing text but now we are also sharing images so I will show you how can you forward those images in group chat for example you can see on the screen that I have uploaded this uh, I have sent these images to the user Rahul Yadav okay now in case if I want to forward this last image which is user profile you can see on the screen I will click on the share button and now we are having this bottom sheet so I would like to send it to the group so I will select groups and here we have a group demo group and the name last message was react banner which is also visible here so I will simply click on this send and uh, now you can see that there is not much changes showing in this button send because now there are few minor changes or you can say minor updates I need to do here but the image is set okay now I will go back and here I will open this group demo group so guys you can see that inside this uh, the image have a name of profile okay and now I will go here so you can see that it is showing profile as the last messages because we have forwarded it okay so I will click on this and then I will scroll down and here you can see that we are having this profile image okay so you can see that this forward functionality is working absolutely okay so this is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial okay and guys the logic is going to be very simple easy to understand if you will follow all the steps that I'm showing you in this tutorial then you will be able to implement this functionality and this feature is really cool because you can see that WhatsApp have this feature and every application or you can say chatting application are adding this feature these days okay so that's why I have added this functionality in this playlist in this tutorial so guys if you have not seen the previous tutorial of this playlist I will give its link in the description please watch those videos first then come to this one okay guys and this tutorial is going to be super simple if you want the source code you don't want to see you don't want to follow all the videos you don't want to see the long lectures simply join membership okay and I will also show you the provide you the QR codes so you can purchase codes and uh, you can also join membership and we also have PayPal so there are so many modes of payment so you can get the source code okay so if you like this video and do not skip any part of this tutorial okay guys you have to watch the complete tutorial step by step listen everything carefully watch the course carefully and then it will work for sure okay because I am showing you the demo so guys without wasting time let's start so guys you can see that this is our project chat it okay encrypted chat app using firebase so in this tutorial we will focus on the functionality of forwarding images from personal chat to group chat okay and also in personal chat of other users so how can we make it done is uh, pretty simple guys you know uh, last time we have already done the feature of uh, forwarding messages this time we will implement the functionality of forwarding images okay so now codes are almost same how it can do it I'll show you so first of all let me close the methods so guys now you can see that here we are having this message activity okay and uh, for better understanding I will open the message view holder class so I can show you that how exactly you need to implement it okay guys so here you can see that we are having this uh, message view holder class okay and uh, you guys remember that when we are sending or uploading any image in group chat so we are having a button which is share button okay and uh, let me show you that button Which is uh, exactly uh, message item where it is here it is okay guys so now when I will open this message item so here you guys can see that we are using an image view with that image view we are have an image button where we are using a share icon so when user will click on that icon so we will simply create a bottom sheet where you can forward the images in uh, whatever group you want or personal chat okay so you can see that here we are having this share button okay this is what I'm talking about here it is here you can see guys okay so now basically uh, we are having this share button and uh, I have already shown you this tutorial okay if you don't know you can watch the video in i button or in also on the description okay I will give its link so now after that you have to give its reference inside this message we hold a class so here you can see that we have uh, share our photo share as photo it means that share receivers photo and share senders photo and then after that you have to give its reference here we are giving it okay 
So now you guys are clear with the creating a button and giving it its references message we holder. Now you have to open that uh, method here inside on create sorry on start because inside this on start guys we are fetching the data we are fetching the messages and we are handling that what we will do when user will click on a particular message and we are also handling the functionality of reaction inside this on start okay so guys now you can see that we are using these two buttons which is share as photo and share our photo both the codes are same you can see that this is for share as photo and inside this we have the same codes share our photo so guys we have created a method of name forward image and we have passed total five parameters that we will need later five arguments that we need to implement this functionality first one is url we need the url of the pro picture that we are going to forward second thing we need the name of senders okay third thing we need the senders uid fourth thing we need a delete key because in case if we want to delete that message from group so we need that key which is mandatory for performing delete operation and last thing is the important one which is a message okay so guys this is the functionality this is a code that you have to add inside this okay on wind view holder here where we are fetching the messages for senders reference so guys now after that we you will uh, after creating this method set on click listener you can see that here we are having this method which is a forward image so now i will show you the code inside it so guys what you can simply do is uh, let me open it yes so guys now code is pretty simple just like the forward message method okay and uh, here you can see that first of all we are simply uh, using a bottom sheet okay with no title and uh, forward bs almost this uh, layout file is same like previous one we have not done many uh, changes okay so here you can see that how it is looking just a minute here it is so you can see a text view a simple spinner and a recycler view that's all we are using okay and uh, in the background we are using a bottom back file so you will get the codes when you will join the membership don't worry okay so now first of all first three lines is this then you have to give the reference for this last mref okay guys then give reference for recycler view then you have to create a spin spinner and you have to add the strings which is chats groups okay all the code is pretty simple and then this is the following code that you need to fix for uh, recyclerv.stat layout manager pass manager then has fix size then we are using array adapter for passing the spinner items in the okay and uh, then inside that guys here you can see that we are having two methods and uh, you have to initialize the spinner and add set on item selected listener new adapter view dot on item selected listener. now all the code is pretty simple if you guys have done the forward message functionality then everything is same now the main change that you have to do is inside the show chats method okay so now here when you will click on the button for forwarding the message that is the main change that you have to do okay here it comes so guys when user will click on the scene tv basically you can see a button for forwarding the message so in the case of chats okay what you have to do you have to simply write this code here see when user will click on it so you have to create a final string for deleting and this is a model that you need to uh, use okay and uh, here that is how it's done and for the model case let me show you the models also that i'm using here otherwise you guys will get confused okay guys so you can see that we are having this two group chat model last m model and also we are having this message model okay guys so all these models you need to uh, declare and initialize okay guys and that is how you will be able to use it you can see here okay so because for message model we already have it inside this message activity but for chat model uh, sorry group chat model i have initialized it here okay so now after this uh, initialization part uh, you can see that yeah so this is how you can simply uh, store the data here okay guys and uh, then first of all we will store the message for personal chats second we will uh, store the message for receiver ends as well okay and third we will store the messages for list model okay guys so here you can see that the previous code okay everything is visible in the front of you you can pause the video write down the codes and if you want the codes you can simply join the membership and you will get all the codes okay so guys this is functionality that you need to add for the for forwarding messages in personal chat okay and uh, now for groups i will show you the codes Um, I will show you the main course that you need to see and um,
here it is so guys when we will do the forward functionality in groups so you need to pass the correct group chat address okay here so you can see you have to declare a firebase database reference variable of name group chat and database get reference group chat or tile address okay guys and uh, then after that here you have to simply use this message model which is for group chat okay and you can see the codes on the screen this is for setting the image in groups okay and then this code is for setting the image in group chat window okay and uh, this is the method for updating the message okay guys so that is how it's done and inside this you can simply set this functionality that sent or it is just uh, you can say a part of code which will Im improve the user experience okay it's not that mandatory but still if you want to add you can do it okay it will give appearance that yeah when you clicked on the send button so just like instagram it will show send for two seconds then it will become sent so that is what i'm doing here so guys if you guys uh, uh, want to implement this functionality you can simply follow this tutorial and do this okay and if you want the source code join membership now so guys if you like this tutorial so please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching